O oh dear child of God, that time has come for God to pay them back in full. I want you to know this day that everyone that wanted you destroyed, there would be a recompense, dear child of God, and God will pay them back in full for everything they had done against you in the mighty name of Jesus. The wickedness that they had planned, dear child of God, it would fall back upon their own head in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will pass by in safety in Jesus' mighty name. You will jump over, dear child of God, every pit that they are dug to destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, the same place that they said you will see your end, that is the same place that you would rise from in the mighty name of Jesus. The other princes were against Daniel. And the same place, the same place that he wanted to destroy him was the same place that he received his promotion. God made sure that he escaped. He escaped the wiles of the enemies. He escaped the evil of his haters. Everything that he had planned to use to destroy him, God made sure that he overcame them all. And God rose him at that very place. Dear child of God, you would overcome. In all things, you would overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. God will frustrate them in their plans. He would frustrate their devices. They will not be able to carry out their enterprise. And God will make sure you are lifted. Dear child of God, God will make sure you rise above them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the word of God says, Therefore the Lord shall return their wickedness upon thine own head. In 1 Kings 2 verse 44, it says the Lord God, you return your wickedness upon your head. I want you to know this day that the wickedness of the enemies, the things that they had done, the things they had planned to destroy you with, God will make sure that it returns back to the head of the enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, God will make sure that you would overcome them in the mighty name of Jesus. And they will pay, they will pay heavily for the things that they had done for the wickedness that they had manipulated, for the things that they had planned to see that your life would be destroyed with them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will give you victories. Dear child of God, God will make sure you reign above them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust the God who fights the battles of his children and he will fight your battles. He will make sure that you rise above every single thing that they had planned to destroy your life with in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes you're asking yourself, what did I do that they hate me so much? Dear child of God, it is because you're rising. It is because your promotion has become a threat to them. At the time that God was lifting the three evil friends, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, all of them, when God was lifting them up, they began to set systems to see that their lives would be frustrated. But guess what? God made sure that these guys rose above everyone that wanted them down. Because at this point in time, their child of God, the enemies, their haters, was already threatened by their promotion. And the more they were threatened, the more they did everything to afflict them, the more they did everything to set laws to see that it would be a disadvantage law to them. Their child of God got through that, made sure they were lifted, they were promoted. And the enemies, the haters, the evil ones, those that wanted them destroyed, were put to shame. This is how God will do it for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you have gone to him every day to pray, to ask for his mercy. God will make sure that every one of them that wanted you reproved. Every one of them that wanted you down. Every one of them that wanted you destroyed. They will see a massive turnaround that would happen to you. And that same point that they wanted to bring you down in is the same place they will see your rising and your victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The brothers of Joseph sold him into slavery. They sold him into Egypt. Dear child of God, God turned everything around. God made sure that the same one they sold into slavery became the head. Dear child of God, he became the one in authority. He became the ruler. The
the same place that they had sold him into, the same place he went into the prison, he came out and became the prime minister. And those who had bought him, even those who he became stewards to, became his steward at the end of the day. This is how God will turn the table around. Dear child of God, trust him because he's the one that fixes everything. He knows how to pay the enemy back for their evil. That is the most amazing way because at that point, they would become ashamed. At that point, everything they had done against you had returned back to their own head. They fought you night and day. They fought you with everything that they had. They said you would never rise. They said you would never take any position that is above them. They forgot that promotion does not come from man. They forgot that promotion does not come from the south. It does not come from the east. It does not come from the west. That it comes from God. They forgot that God is the one that lifts men. It's called the lifter of our head. They forgot that God is the one that places on the head of people. And then they said you will never take a position that is above them. Now see what God has done. See how the Lord has turned the table around. See how the Lord had given you a reason to shout. See how the Lord had given you victory. Dear child of God, I want you to know the same place you were rejected. The same place you were talked down upon. The same place the enemies wanted to see that your lives will be frustrated. God will make sure you are lifted right there and they will be put to shame. Every single one of them, they will be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. They had said to you that nothing good will come out of your life. But watch what God will do. See the way God will turn everything around and make sure that you have the victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will strengthen you. He would make sure you do not rate in pain. Dear child of God, God will strengthen you. He will make sure that you will not languish away in the mighty name of Jesus. And those enemies, dear child of God, that has been speaking against you, everyone who has spoke evil against you, they would hide their faces in shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Because what God had done to those that hated you, what God had done to those people that wanted you destroyed was to see you rise, was to see you advance in life, was to see you make progress again in life. Dear child of God, they will see it. They will see it with their eyes, the blessings that God is bringing. And they would know that for the rest of their lives, they can never touch you. They would know that for the rest of their lives, they can never do you evil. In the mighty name of Jesus. And all you need to do is to forgive them. Is to have mercy. And say, Lord, show them mercy. At the time that Joseph's brother were afraid, he had mercy. He told them that they had been forgiven. That all the things they had planned for evil, everything that they meant for evil against this life, God had brought good out of it. Dear child of God, it may look as though they have pushed you right now so far. They have pushed you to the wall. But do not worry. God is bringing the best out of it. It may seem as if they are overloading you with work right now. But do not worry. You are gathering the experiences, dear child of God. And by the time everything is over, dear child of God, you will be the one wearing the crown in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be the one that will be most qualified in Jesus' mighty name. Trust God. Trust the God that settles every life. Trust the God that gives victories to his children. And he wants to assure you today by this word that he will give you great victory in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be paid back for all the evils, for all the wickedness that he did against you. And the way God will recompense them, the way God will reward them, the way God will pay them back is to see that you are lifted is to see that you are above them. Is to see that the things that they said you were not qualified for, you have gotten them beyond what you can count in the mighty name of Jesus. God will not put you to shame. He knows that you trust him. He knows that you have been faithful. He knows that you have been committed and he will not put you to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. It will cause you to laugh. It will cause you to sing. 
It will cause you to dance because your turn around victory has come in the mighty name of Jesus. Go forth, dear child of God, because you are rising. You are rising higher and higher in the mighty name of Jesus. So all the onslaught that the enemies had planned, you would escape. You would escape in the mighty name of Jesus. And none of their intentions, none of their evil intentions would ever succeed against your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that settles men will visit you. He will visit your family. He will visit all of your pursuits and endeavors. And he will make sure you have the reason to testify. You will experience a breakthrough that will put all of your enemies to shame. That will cause them to bury their head in shame. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep having faith. Keep trusting God. Because I know that your lifting is almost here. I know that your lifting is around the corner. God will give you reasons to testify. You will come and say, see what God has done. He has turned my captivity around. He has turned my story around. And he has given me victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. Shalom.